Hi guys, it's a couple days later. We got Kingston this little toy. It's like a baby piano and they can lay on their back and play. So we'll see if he likes it. If not, I'm gonna return it and get something else because um, I'm not sure. But all the pieces are sealed, so I'm about to clean them off and set everything up real quick. He just ate, so he's just kind of chilling right now. He's just chilling. He's just a baby. He's just a little baby. <laughs> Hi, hey guys. I have not been on here in so long. I just wanted to do an updated makeup video of like my new mom routine but still a little glam. I've definitely mastered, if I couldn't get ready fast enough before, I definitely mastered the fast, like do my makeup in three minutes <laughs> type, of, type of thing um, because with a newborn, yeah, you definitely, like there's days where I just have you know, milk and throw up all over me and poop and <laughs> my hair is in a bun and you know, whatever. But then there's days where it's like, no, you know, I have to put the baby down. I'm going to take a little shower and do like a little lash and you know, I feel a lot better because you have to pour into yourself before you can pour into others. And I don't want to give my baby just like half of me and then my husband gets like a fourth of me maybe. So that's not fair to anybody. So I have to, you know, start my day with prayer and then if I have to do a little lash and a little blush I'm gonna do it so today I went and got a blowout it's kind of frizzy now because it's super hot outside it's like 90 and then I was sweating like getting the baby and getting the groceries and everything so it's kind of got frizzy on me but it's okay it's just a little blowout but I'm gonna try to fix it up a little bit and do a little makeup let's see if baby he is half asleep half awake so we might have to cut this little short but their hood definitely changes for the better I feel like a whole different Sabrina and it's like I had to become that was required I had to become this new Sabrina to take care of my baby and to be a wife and it's so much fun honestly it's the best thing ever um, It definitely shows you like what you have to work on as far as like patience and just being more feminine because I'll be rushing and grabbing trying to get everything ready and it's like I just need to take a step take a step back and breathe and then do it because it's like I don't want to be rushing and sweating and just like doing everything because that's not cute One second, let me get my baby settled real quick and I'll come right back. Anyways, I had to feed baby real quick. Um, what I was saying was, I ran into, um, I think it was my nail lady the other day. She was like, you're making me, no, it wasn't my nail lady, it was my wax lady. She was like, um, she's like, is it hard? And I told her, I was like, it's not hard. It's just a lot of adjusting to and It'll show you like what you have to work on. You know, being a wife and a mother is beautiful. It is such an amazing experience and I'm just trying to absorb it and take it all in moment by moment, but also enjoy it because I look back and I'm like, oh my gosh, like just this time last year, I had moved in with Corey and now we're married and have a baby. So a lot can change in a year and it's fantastic, but I just want to enjoy it because it does go fast. But today, we're just going to do my makeup real quick. It is 4 o'clock right now. It's 4.05. And my hubby is at the gym. So I just got my hair done. I want to do a little bit of makeup. Feeling real cute. Baby's eating right now. So let's see if I can do this with one hand. We'll try because I just kind of want to have my makeup done when having gets home wanted to get my eyebrows waxed today but ow I don't trust anyone to do my eyebrows because if they mess them up 
that is really gonna send me back like I'm doing really good right now you know I'm, I'm in a really good space and if someone messes up my eyebrows that's gonna send me back a couple steps so I'm just gonna keep tweezing them I guess because I just can't have them messed up right now they're doing they're doing really good so let me try to do this with one hand it can be done I've done it many times girlfriend many times I've even put lashes on with one hand okay, holding the baby nursing him so I'm just trying to figure out where I was gonna start because I was gonna do like a full glam moment with like everything but I think we're gonna do like a little bit of a natural glam we'll see we'll see where it goes we'll see where it goes I got him in the wrap <laughs> now I can have both hands get you a wrap girl it is a life saver thank you to my cousin Tanisha for getting me this oh let me turn this music off thank you to my cousin Tanisha getting for getting me this this is a lifesaver girl I don't know what I would do without it breastfed babies are different they're different and Kingston is exclusively breastfed I don't pump anymore because it it hurts it hurts it's a lot to like thoroughly wash and sterilize all my pump parts make sure they're super super clean and then put them together the right way or it doesn't like do it properly and it's it's a lot it's like this is like so TMI but this is a mother video so whatever um so throughout my pregnancy good boy throughout my pregnancy my areolas just started growing bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and getting darker and darker and darker and my mom was like you know it's totally normal like it's just so the baby can um see your nipple when they come out so they know how to feed well they're like huge humongous so um when i go to pump you know i've changed my phalange size i've done so many re so much research to get like the size right and everything and it still hurts like excruciating pain and nursing is still kind of painful because his mouth is so tiny and my areola is so big um <laughs> i don't even know if i'm gonna put this in the video but i'm just being honest that's this real real talk right there um it hurts so it's not that I don't want to pump or whatever it's easier because I don't have to wash anything and I can just sit down and feed him whenever he's hungry and that's it and then I use the haka I'll turn a picture right here the haka is awesome definitely get you one because it catches all your letdown and you can put that in a bottle and put it in the fridge or freezer and store for later and then someone else can feed him later but it's super super helpful and it doesn't hurt it's not painful but um yeah breastfed babies are different he wants to be held all the time all the time all the time even if i have to pee he wants to be held um he does not like to be put down which is fine for me i love to hold my baby okay <laughs> because i feel like i just gave birth to him and it's like i just want to hold him like i love my baby and i don't mind holding him all the time like i said i'm just enjoying every moment it's all good but I'm just enjoying his little coos and just everything. It's just so much fun. It's awesome. Like, of course, I'm tired, you know, but that's what concealer is for. I have like seven, seven different ones and a lot of iced coffee. I'm a hot coffee drinker, but by the time I get to it, it's cold, so I just switched to iced coffee, and we're good. We're good. It will, I put it in, like, my thermal cup or whatever, and it'll last. So by the time I get to it, it's still kind of cold. So, little mom, little mom tip. That's just from me, if you, if you like coffee. So. Oh, she's just learning how to make them? Uh-huh. Yeah. 
Let me see. And it's not a sticker. It's actually lasered into the cup. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Are you kidding? Yeah, it comes with a scrub brush and a straw. Oh, I love that. She did a wonderful job. I was like, dang. You can't even get that in the store. Hey guys, it's a brand new day. Today's Monday. We're headed to get my car looked at because Corey said that my tire light is on and he gave me some air, but um, the light was still on. And he had to go to work today, so yesterday was Sunday, so everything was closed. So we're gonna take it in, me and baby. Hi, baby. Hi, honey. <laughs> we're gonna take it in. First, we're gonna get coffee because we were actually supposed to be out of the house at 8, and now it's 11. So, yeah. It was a lot. It was just a lot. Now we really need coffee. <laughs> okay. Finally made it out of the house. Baby is sleeping. He's so perfect. He's just my precious little angel. And we stopped to get a coffee real quick. This is really good. I tried something different. I got a coffee with oat milk with toffee nut. Okay, let's see. Got the car fixed. Got, we went to the farmer's market and grabbed a couple things because I'm just changing my entire diet. I'm changing my entire life. Today I actually started a new life. Um, it still involves coffee and um, everything else is, is changed. So... We went to the farmer's market. We went to the grocery store to get dates because they didn't have dates at the farmer's market. And now I'm at the thrift shop to see if I can find anything. Um, so let's see what they have in there. Baby, I just had to nurse him a little bit, but he's asleep again. So that'll give us a little bit of time just to browse a little bit. market again we're gonna go to the grocery store we're gonna go to target and we're gonna go to sprouts so because there's certain things at certain stores that we need so um i'm gonna pack a little snack bag got my everything i'm gonna get everything together while baby's still asleep and then i'll check in with the car. let me get everything together while baby's still asleep and um, I'll check in with you guys in the car. I'll show you guys my little snack. I'm gonna heat it up and put a little lid on it and take it to go. Well rice, jerk chickpeas, and sweet potatoes. I think I'm gonna put a little avocado and this is gonna be good. Yeah, we're just slowly making changes, slowly making changes. Everything has to have um, a purpose, Every, everything I eat, because I'm not trying to make myself feel bad or anything, but I stepped on the scale. That was, that was, that was rough. That was rough. 
was rough. But it is what it is, and like I said, this body got my baby here, so I'm grateful for that. But now it's time to make a change and be healthy because I want more babies, and I don't want to pile pregnancy weight on top of pregnancy weight. That that's not fair, and it's not cute. So um, like just being real, I want more babies, and I want to look good when I go to the beach. <laughs> but it's okay um we're just in like a a growth spurt right now so he'll eat poop eat poop eat poop pee and it's awesome it's awesome i'm so proud of my baby he's he's amazing he's two months today two months my baby is two months old and he is perfect headed to sprouts <laughs> headed to sprouts gonna get a couple things i need like mushroom coffee chia seeds hemp seeds like all the seeds um i might get a couple more mangoes they had some really bomb mangoes the other day they were so sweet and guys this weekend is my birthday saturday's my birthday so we're gonna get a huge fruit bowl cut up a bunch of fruit make our smoothies juice everything and take it to the beach i'm so excited it's baby's first time to the beach and i just couldn't be more excited like this is this is awesome this is like the perfect birthday gift for me just left Target we got everything we needed and more as always I found some really cute blushes and they're like stick blushes and they're the color is perfect I got like peach colors and it has like a little bit of a gold undertone it's just so pretty because I feel like with the season coming up like summer and everything I don't need a lot of makeup I just need something to give me like some color to my face with some gloss which is gonna look really pretty oh let me grab the gloss actually because i wear the same lip gloss every every single day of my entire life it's malibu soleil and it was a collaboration that chrissy teigen did with becca cosmetics and this was years ago so i bought like literally 25 of them i remember i bought them like over time um when they had them and then it was a limited edition and they went out they don't they didn't sell them anymore blush Mellow Wine. I just love blush right now. And then this is a stick blush that has like some gold in it. It looks so pretty. And I got another shade. This one's called Peach Bum. And I got another shade. I forgot the name of it. It's really pretty. And then this is the lip that I got. I'm gonna put it on without my lip liner. First, I can just get the gloss vibe. Actually, what am I saying? I love my lip liner. This lip liner is date night from Morphe.
I still have my lip stain on from earlier from the Malibu color. But I do love the color that came out. I love this color. It reminds me of something I used to wear a long, long time ago. Or maybe my, mo my mom used to wear it and I would take it from her when I was like really, really little. But I'm going to stop and eat a snack. I have my lunch here. It's 4 o'clock and baby's still asleep. So we're just going to use this time. I'll probably have to nurse him in a little bit so let me eat while he is content still. These jerk chickpeas are so delicious. I made them super spicy and then I put a little bit of honey on them. Placement. These were so hard to find. I had to go to like four different stores, literally. Got some Ziploc bags. I need those. Got some beets from the farmer's market so I can juice some more. Got all different kinds of nuts and seeds. Got some chia seeds, hemp seeds. Got a hemp protein powder. Some cashews. Some Brazil nuts. Um, like coconut sugar coated um, cashews really good and this is the uh, mushroom coffee that we're going to try this brand there, and Bear Organics this one's for the Keurig and this is an instant latte so you just put it in um, some hot water and it already has like the coconut milk in there so I should have just got another one of these because my Keurig is acting really weird and I just wanted to come home and have a cup of coffee. But, whatever. And then we picked up a little package of mail. This is his ointment. If you guys have um, like baby eczema for your baby or if they have like any rashes or anything like that, dry skin, which is all completely normal. We just went through so many products and we couldn't find what was best for us. And we used this Tubby Todd ointment. It's amazing. It got rid of his dry skin, his baby eczema, his baby acne. And we just pair it with the um, fragrance free body wash and hair wash. So this is great. We just tried it out with a small bottle and a small little tube first and we ended up loving it so we got the ginormous one so we definitely like to keep things seamless with the same brand and everything's fragrance free right now just because his skin is super sensitive until we can figure out um you know what scents work for him but until then everything's fragrance free which is fine because he already smells so good he smells like baby milk Perfect. Got some more body wash for hubby. He likes the Dove, the original scent. And I wanted to branch out and try something different. I got this Olay with coconut oil, and it says it's like super moisturizing. It smells really good. I just wanted something different. I just want to smell like really good all day. And then um, just got some glass cleaner so everything can be clean. And I got the mirror yesterday from the thrift shop, so I'm gonna clean that up. So he can hang it me. Got a bunch of sweet potatoes from the farmer's market because I'm trying to just eat more protein and healthy nutrient-based meals. So that whole bag was two dollars, which is awesome. Papaya. There we go. Okay, also from Target we got some 
the jumbo cotton balls and I wanted to try a new is it in here? a new deodorant because just like postpartum body I realize I've never worn deodorant in my life fun fact about me I've never worn deodorant in my life um, but after giving birth I definitely need something so I'm gonna try this I didn't know where to start I just wanted something natural but something that works so this is Shea Moisture's brand and it says it, it helps with sweat and odor protection. So we'll see. The smell is okay. I guess I didn't want anything overpowering and it just smells fresh and clean. So that's good. So we'll see. And then from Target I also got these lactation supplements. This is from the brand Legendary Milk. This is this brand, I swear by this brand, it's awesome. When I first got home from the hospital, I just had like a little bit of milk. And I did, I started with the liquid gold and it just started flowing out. So if you are on your nursing journey and you need like something with for an emergency or if your milk, you feel like it's dwindled down, take this, but definitely drink a lot of water. Like I have to drink over a gallon of water a day. But just in case for any reason like I need something, um, these these work and this is the three pack it comes with all of them so you can try all of them uh, that's really cool. yeah that's all i got from the store today we got a lot of stuff and we also got some mangoes and oranges from the farmer's market this was all free because they're so awesome they're just like so sweet Today is Wednesday, April 24th. I'm planning on editing this vlog hopefully today or tomorrow um, so I can post it. But we had Kingston's pediatrician appointment this morning and it went so well. Like, first of all, his appointment was at 12.45 and we got there at 9.45. So at least we made it early. That's all I can say. I showed up and she was like, your appointment's at 12.45. I was like, like that just shows you how tired I am she was like um we don't have any room but let me just see because she's she's so sweet like she loves Kingston she's like he is so beautiful she's like let me just see she's like I can tell you right now we don't have anything but let me see what I can do so she got me in and I was like thank you so much because whoo, you don't know what it took to get here girl you don't know and she's like I know <laughs> so that was really good but anyways um this pediatrician was so impressed by how wonderful he's doing honey can you breathe okay um she was like what are you guys doing with him because he's comparing she's like i see babies all day long all day long and your baby is comparing to a four month old uh she just did like some strength testing with him and just seeing like doing some activities with him and seeing how strong he is and she said he is so strong and he just turned two months yesterday so he is doing wonderful he's 10 pounds eight ounces and she said he's gaining weight wonderfully. She's like, whatever you guys are doing, keep doing it. She's like, but seriously, what are you guys doing? I said, we just do tummy time every single day. And he eats a lot. She's like, well, keep doing that because he's doing awesome. He's thriving. I'm so proud of my little honey bunny. But today we're making stuffed bell peppers for dinner. So I just got everything. I'm about to cook the um, quinoa and Corey wants ground beef. So I'm going to keep cook that up and I have like some plant-based meat I might make that or do chickpeas because I didn't get beans but I kind of had chickpeas all week so I'm kind of like chickpeed out for right this minute but um definitely the meat and then I just do like seasoning with tomatoes cilantro onion and then I'll put like some sliced avocado on top it's gonna be really really good and I started before hubby wubby gets home and I'll show you guys dinner when it's ready. <laughs> 